Forget about the discussion whether AGI has been achieved internally. This paper further dismantles the power of vision language models. It even says that vision language models are blind because these vision language models cannot do mundane tasks that human beings can do very well. They have created seven different tasks. These are visual tasks that these vision language models could not do well. If you're not familiar with what a vision language model is, a vision language model is a large language model that is equipped with the power to see. You can give an input image and then the large language model can process the input image and give you an output back. And this is what we call as a vision language model. There is usually a visual encoder and there is a text component because the vision first, the visual image is converted into some sort of text and the text is processed and given you as an output. They've taken four different models, GPT-4.0, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Sonnet 3, Sonnet 3.5 from Claude Anthropic. They have used these four models across these seven different tasks and they've tried to figure out what is going on with vision language model. And their ultimate conclusion is that these vision language models fail on these seven visual tasks absurdly easy to humans, such as identifying whether the circles overlap or the lines intersect. Shockingly poor performance of four state-of-the-art vision language models. At least we can all understand with this paper that our current state of vision language models are not anywhere closer to the state of the art. Or probably you might argue that the current vision language models are not specifically good at these particular tasks. This provides an important opportunity for us to fine tune or improve our current vision language models to understand geometry and physics of the world slightly better than what it is. Let us go over the tasks and understand what are these tasks and what kind of results or scores these vision language models have got. The first task is to count the line intersections. So all they're going to ask these vision language models is how many intersections are there? Zero intersection, one intersection, two intersection, two intersections. Now they have created these images using Python and the code has been shared for you to use it. I will link it in the YouTube description if you want to play with the code. Now these images have been created and they've asked questions. How many times do the blue lines and red plot lines or red line plots cross each other? And these are the result. As you can see here that ChatGPT has got almost everything wrong except two. And Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, which I have constantly praised again and again that it is a really good vision model, has got only one correct. Claude 3, Sonnet 3 has got everything wrong. And Claude Sonnet 3.5 has got two correctly. So which in this case is this and also this. So technically GPT-4 O and Claude Sonnet 3.5 has got two correct. And the things that they got to correct also are different. And one of the reason why it again advocates that it's not a single large language model or single vision language model that is probably going to create the state of the art today. And if you see in this particular case, you can see ChatGPT won these two while Claude Sonnet 3.5 won these two. So there is no intersection here, but Claude, Claude Sonnet 3.5 is the only model that said no intersection. If you look at the next test, they created two overlapping circles. The circles are a different overlapping, overlapping and touching, non-overlapping but touching, non-overlapping and not touching, and different orientation altogether. And now they just simply asked a yes or no question with this. And as you can see here, in this case, Chat GPT or GPT 4.0 got three correct answers. Google Gemini Pro 1.5 Pro got four correct answers. Claude Anthropic Sonnet 3 got three correct answers. And Claude 3.5 Sonnet got four correct answers. So this seems like a task that was fairly easier for these vision language models to do. Uh, even though they got two incorrect answers in most of the cases, you can fairly easily say that this was a task they kind of excelled. Probably one particular reason could be two different contrasting colors, unlike the lines here, where it is very hard to see the overlaps with vision image processing, but it's fairly easier to see whatever the overlap is here based on the color combination. 
the next one is they've given a word english word and they've uh, circled a letter and they wanted these models to figure out what the letter is this is particularly an impressive prompt engineering technique that i've at least personally used with gpt4 o or gpt4 where you can circle something and then ask it to figure out what is it i'm not sure whether in this particular test whether the circle is small whether the letters confused it or whether it is up to the prompting technique but gp4o has got almost everything incorrect so we have got these circles and not a single letter it has got correct so here it assumed that it is o here it assumed it is e and then as you go on everywhere it has got it incorrectly at least with this particular case and this particular case i can say that it kind of identified the letter closer so here the e is the one before the current letter t is a letter after the current letter and z is the letter that is before the current letter so this is a test once again where gemini 1.5 pro did much better than every other vlm vision language model the next one is to count the overlapping shapes in a olympic like logo so they've got five circles a small diameter six circles a large diameter eight colored circles nine colored pentagon and in this particular case as you can see here claude 3.5 sonnet is the one that has got the most correct answers so i have a question here i have a doubt i have a skepticism which is i'm not sure whether this is only about the vision or whether it is also the language capability to actually count things because i know personally the the models these models are particularly very bad with counting i'm not sure if that particular skill is also seeping in here so this particular task i wouldn't necessarily discount that it is only a vision problem but it could be a language problem or specifically the math counting problem as well once again we have a counting task in this case we have counting the nested squares so we have two nested squares three nested squares four nested squares five nested squares they have to count the number of squares and give us answer back so as you can see here gpt4 wo completely failed uh, gemini 1.5 pro has got two correct and claude 3.5 sonnet has got four correct and uh, this is just sonnet 3.5 it's not even opus 3.5 once again this could be a combination of counting and also the vision task now counting the rows and columns of a grid i honestly assume that most uh, models would get this wrong and as per my assumption that gemini 1.5 pro got only one wrong and every other model has got everything wrong except claude 3.5 sonnet where it has got a 4 out of 6 correctly which is pretty impressive for this so the final task that we see here is a single color coded path so here you have got one path here you've got two paths here you have got two paths here you have got three paths and what is the width i definitely assume that a model would not do this particularly well but unlike my assumption that uh, chat gpt gpt4 wo got two correct mm. uh, gemini 1.5 pro got two correct Claude 3.5 Sonnet has got two correct, and this is particularly it looks like a slightly difficult task even for a human like me to do it. So I wouldn't necessarily judge an LLM based on this. But if you see every other task, I kind of understand where the problem lies in, because this is technically what these large language models. do not necessarily see in training data or they are not optimized for it but if you were to have like like let's say a self driving car or a true a robot like a humanoid robot that can have a full vision of the world like the straight vision the peripheral vision and everything then they should probably get these things correctly and i think for these models to get these things correctly these models need more optimization probably having a fine tuning task based on these uh, data set could help but that's not the point of the paper at least for me personally to take it the point of the paper is to say that there is a lot of gap in terms of the way we benchmark these data sets these models and we naturally assume that once we have a good performing model that the model is extremely good like we're going to say that this model can replace human eyes that is not necessarily the case and you know forget about even talking about agi hope this paper was insightful in uh, understanding something that 
we know probably but we have not proven with data that these vision language models are not state of the art the data set has been shared uh, in as form of this code they've got a github repository for you to play with and also the paper is available for you to read if you want to go through the paper i'll link all the resources in the youtube description for you to play around see you in another video happy prompting